Hi guys, uh, this is uh, my second review on this little welder here. Uh, it's a MIG Pack 140 from Lincoln. Um, Lincoln make a lot of uh, model of those. Uh, I've seen a lot of 140, uh, 140 HG I think. Or, uh, so I think they're all the same, but or they have model that are more commercial than uh, some others so here are the uh, settings for uh, voltage settings this is a control for the speed wire speed it's a 120 volt welding machine um, and here let me show you here there's a little sharp if you follow this chart here, uh, I'm not a pro welder. I did took some course uh, 20, 25 years ago, and uh, this is a really nice little chart. I uh, take took some course for, uh, for uh, rod welding, not MIG. So, but it's almost the same. And this is a 140T, and. Here you have the chart for uh, if you're using uh, flux core. This is for uh, argon CO2, full CO2, and full argon with uh, for al aluminum. And really nice chart here, even with the thickness of your uh, of your steel. I'm gonna show you here this little. This is the feeding mechanism. I have a two pound, two pound flux core wire here. It's a 0 0.035 millimeters. Uh, no, 0 0.035 inch and 0.9 millimeters. And a really nice little welder here. Uh, have a nice, here is the ground clip here. Really nice really heavy duty and uh, same thing for the uh, nice clip here it comes with the uh, gas control here I don't have tanks for now I'm using cook score your gas entrance is here there's a reset here never use the reset uh, I have a 20 amp 110 volt uh, circuit breaker in the basement hooked up to a uh, 10 gauge wire so uh, the Lincoln in the manual uh, recommend that you use a 20 amp circuit and I have uh, an extension cord that you see here this is uh, one that I'd made and it's a 12 gauge and they recommend 12 gauge wire it's about uh, 25 feet long and uh, maximum they say it's 12 feet extension on 12 gauge so if you want to have your little welding machine for long uh, I recommend to being an electronic technician that you use um, bigger gauge wire and um, the Sun is uh, getting in the camera here nice little welder it's have a three-year warranty and don't forget to buy yourself uh, safety equipment I have a helmet here that I got it's uh, auto shade uh, gloves welding gloves I got myself a pair of uh, pliers here nice pliers especially made for those welding machine and a uh, little hammer so uh, I'm gonna show you here some weld that I did this is uh, by the way if you want to see some welding I didn't show any welding but if you want to see some result I have part uh, one two four and maybe some more later on I'm gonna remove the cap here show you some weld here 
on the cover. This is a, a piece of steel of one inch thick. And here's some welding that I did with the Lincoln 140. Here's some more welds. There's another in the back there and some here. I didn't use gas, it's all flux core wire welding here. Here in the back, that's the uh, that's the exit exhaust pipe, four hinge pipe there. Uh, this piece of uh, metal here, this is one quarter inch. This is about 316 of an inch. The leg here is one quarter. The piece here is one quarter. Uh, no, this one is 516 of an inch. This here you're able to weld up to 516 of an inch with flux core. Here on the chart, let me show you. 0 0.035 if you go down up to 516 of an inch and that's 3.5 MD this is the speed this is the so here's some other little <coughs> weld on the door here that I mail to the stove here there's a piece of metal here you'll see there there's the air inlet I welded this uh, air entrance here and here is uh, another weld that I did here another piece here on the door and I did weld a bolt here for the mechanism here uh, this is not a pretty weld and I have some other weld here to show you. There. <clears throat> I want to show you this one too here. And by the way, this is uh, one quarter of an inch. And uh, this piece here is uh, 516. So not too bad. Not a bad welder at all, guys. I'm pretty... Uh, Happy with it?